Hi, my name is Philippe and today we will talk about how we can fix CSS issues with the AMP WordPress plugin. So here at the image on the left side, as we can see, the image is a bit off, the header is a bit like out of the place and why that happened. First, we need to understand how the AMP framework works with CSS. There is a limit of 75 kilobytes of CSS per page, and that number is really important. And the AMP plugin will try to compress all the CSS inside your WordPress website. The CSS from plugins and themes get all together, compress and minify that information. And sometimes even with this all optimization, the AMP plugin is not capable to hit that limit. And after that, what the plugin will try to do is try to prioritize which CSS is more important in that page. And how we can check that? For we check that, we need to go to the CSS budget section and where we can find that. If you are logged on your AMP WordPress website, we will have the admin bar at the top of your page. And there we have an AMP session. If you're not seeing the AMP session, it means that you have the developer tools disabled. And to enable that, you can do that at the AMP settings page and enable the developer tools. But once you have that, inside the drop down, you're gonna find the CSS budget section. You just click on that and it will be redirected to the page that will list all the CSS that is loaded for that page and each one is caused problems for your CSS budget. And for now, I will just jump to a quick demo and I will show you where you can find that. And here I have an Astra installation. Astra itself it is compatible with AMP, but if I start like pulling all the plugins that will include more CSS on my page, I will hit the limit for the CSS budget and some items will start to appear a bit off. And I will just click, for example, for a demo page that I have here. So this is the no AMP version. As you can see, we have a carousel, we have loads of different items that will require CSS. And once we jump to our AMP version, at the top, we will see that we have like a red cross sign and that red cross sign shows that something is going wrong here. <laughs> and once I just go to the drop down, I will see that my CSS budget is overcome 168%. And once I click on there, I will be redirect to the page that will list which items are caused the issue. And here at this session, we can see the total size of our CSS before and after the minification. And later on, we see how much percent we pass by the limit of 75 kilobytes. And at least we can see the number of CSS that was excluded to achieve that limit of 75 kilobytes for our page being valid. So that's a really important thing because if you want our page to be valid, we need to deliver 75 kilobytes of CSS. So, and after the amount of items that were excluded, we're gonna have a table that will list all the CSS that is loading that page and the order for those items. And here is already the CSS that was created. But if I wanna change that order, I just can scroll up to my page. And here we can see the CSS that was kept or the CSS that was removed. And for example, if my header is a bit off, I can try to find the CSS that is responsible to my header and cap that item and remove another one that is not so important for that page. So that's one way that we can fix that. So we can prioritize the right items on my page. And with that, we can kind of adapt our AMP version. But the ideal scenario is we hit that limit and display all the items. And for that, we can install AMP compatible plugins, but if install AMP compatible plugins, it is not an option. We can do some structures to try to achieve that item. If I found a plugin that is not necessary for that page, for example, I can just remove that and prioritize an item that is, for example, responsible to load the CSS for my header. And with that panel, we can check and prioritize the items that are important to our page. 
But the idea we avoid to get in that stage that you need to prioritize CSS. So it's really important for your loading time, you reduce the amount of CSS that it is included in your page. And for that, I will just share a few best practices that we can follow to not be in that position. Tip number one, it's using comparable plugins and themes. They will help you to not overcome the CSS budget. Tip number two, if possible, use the core editor. Nowadays, the core editor is full of features and you can make nice pages with the core editors without need an extra plugin. And tip number three, try to avoid to duplicate plugins. What that means? Now, use different plugins that do almost the same thing. So that example that I share, I have loads of uh, page builders that sometimes they do almost the same thing. So the ideal scenario is to only use one item that will have loads of features and you can just solve everything in one place. And that's it. So if you need any help with the unplugging, please contact us at the official support forum. I will just leave the link at the description below. And thanks for watching again and see you next time. Ciao.